Yo, Potion Maniacs, and welcome back to Potionomics. Last time, we got a new cauldron for free from our new, uh, our new Walder's friend, Muktuk. We, we have, like, a current, like, brew to scoop out. We have a deck to rebuild. We have tons of customizing to do with the glamours and the new cauldron. So let's get started. So we have cauldrons. Clay cauldron. Holds whole, uh, six whole ingredients. My god. It's his test cauldron. As a, as a, it's called only Mugtuck can lift, so I, I guess either Mugtuck put it down right there or shoved it. Yeah, I was wondering how the game would handle that. Alright, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and scoot those out first. I see you've acquired an ingredient with a trait. Uh -huh, I did. When did that happen? Sylvia, you need to pay attention to what's going into your inventory. I, I can't do that. An ingredient with a trait is an opportunity to strategize the cauldron and to engage your customer's senses. Oh yeah, I have some notes on this actually. I just need a quick refresher. Uh-huh. Alright, some special ingredients have, <laughs> have not just Maggie Means or Vegemite, they also have traits. These are the grayed out symbols we've been seeing. They haven't been lit up. Mm-hmm. By placing these ingredients with the traits in your brew, they impart those traits into those potions. Using the ingredient with a positive trait in your brew will boost the value of the final potion. Look at the money signs. Be careful, though. Ingredients can also impair uh, some less desirable traits, or impart, rather, some less desirable traits that will lower the customer's will to pay for the potion. Money signs down. This will make you cough. All right, cool. All right, Gr bottle up that brew. Perfect brew. Perfect five stars. God damn, the, all the twinklies. The best miner. The best miner. So let's go out first, and let's switch out the cauldron. All right, customization. There it is, and it's sparkling, at least for a little bit. How dare you only be able to run one cauldron at a time? It's hoopla. That looks pretty good. We also have the new wood floor. Let's take a look at that. You could also uh, change the flooring behind the counter. Oh. There you go. Separate areas. Yeah, I guess we'll get the new stucco wall. It's not much different, but it's polished and it doesn't do anything. Let's get it. Again, these are glamours, so this is all fictitious. <laughs> oh, there was actually a wooden section in the back there behind the chair that's still fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. Because it's a separate section. Or, you know, maybe it changed at the same time. That's fucked up, man. It, it is. Did. How dare it? The two floor zones were different. I figured the two wall zones would be different, too. What do I know? It was a fucking scam, room. That's not your fault. <laughs> I, you know, I love that affirmation. <laughs> Alright, we got pumped up. So, Muktuk hopes that his enthusiasm for his craft is persuasive that Sylvia will choose to make use of his creations. Alright, well, let's take a look at what we can do. We got a lot closed out. Those are great. We're going to go ahead and decrease those. Reel them in is just generally alright. Although, let me take a look at Reel it in. That increases it by 7. And it's worth two. So this is actually more economical in the long run. So long as you get to set them up as an opener. If well, you're you... not playing it as your opener. No. Well, actually, it applies the set them up uh, trait. All yeah. right. What does that do? I w actually, yeah, here you go. So it applies. This is the interest applied by reel them in by 20%. So reel them in benefits from... Yes. That, but it has to be the real amen card. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Let's go look at Mukduk. All right, we can add one of you for now. We'll put one of those in there. And then you have Baptiste cards. Mm -hmm. Baptiste card that he provided. Recaptivate. Which just Which increases it. patience, but it's yeah. not bad. It's a potential opener, but it does not have to be played as an opener mm -hmm. in order to give you value. Let's, see, let's just take out one of those. We'll put one of those in, and I think that's good for now. We'll go ahead and dip our toes into these other decks. Okay. All right, now let's get brewing before I forget and be stupid. 
But no, it's okay. I wouldn't permit that. I was gonna say Grimith is here, so he probably will not permit me to be stupid. Well, I can't stop that. <laughs> Okay, so these just make health potions on their own, is what you're saying. But health potions are poop right now, so we don't really want to make those. Let's go ahead and make some more mana potions? We have... We'll save our health potions for sending out a uh, mint. But we need to make more mana potions, I think. Alright, so we're going to make three with this. Although he said it may not happen that way, oh my goodness. So we'll see if that's true. And that should be good. It's going to take three things, but if I put a wood, it'll take one thing. So if you put a wood in it and it takes one thing, mm -hmm. you're, you're shopping. Like if you're going to set up shop, that takes two. Mm -hmm. So they would be done before like your shopping phase would end. I don't know how, how deep you want to get into the weeds on trying to time crunch. <laughs> Like, if you did a one here, you could not open up the shop this phase and go, go out, visit people, people. Yeah, visit think... people, people, and then, yeah, come back and it would be done. I think that's what I'm going to do. Visit people, people, and then come back. And then you put know, something the people, else. People. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need to go and, like, see how the expeditions went anyway. How, how dare that stuff not get delivered to you? And we also need to go see him. So let's go ahead and see Mint first. We have some stuff for you. It's so good to see you. Wake up. I, hmm. Now you're giving me decisions. I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's plan my next adventure. Oh my god, it's coming out now. <laughs> Bish, will you calm down? God damn. I just want to. And I'll head out. Let's go on for sure. Let's see how far you can get with these now. I don't think you can complete the whole thing. Nah. Okay, yeah, we do not have anything. Something to resolve poison in order to get past that hazard. What about this? We got out the here. The bone wastes uh, are more rewarding. Uh, we were told today. Mm -hmm. Whereas the forest is going to be less rewarding. See how far you get here. Well, we don't, but you'll at least get something for that. So, is it worth saving one of the the mana potions then? Maybe. We'll see if you get the three that way. You do get the three that way. What if we take off one of these? We'll really make it. Yeah, this is uh, her prediction, so we don't know, like, how, like, whether that's 100% accurate. But, yeah, like, I don't see why you shouldn't save those two potions right there. She fucking dies. <laughs> you are really, really, really inconsiderate. She was a budding hero, and you did that. All right. Well, get out there and get us some stuff. Take three time units. Good choice. Okay, bye. Yeah. Let's see how hey, you bye. did, Batista. Hey, smug face. Careful of hiring big hero expeditions because that could cause disruptions in the ecosystem. Stop. Oh my god, it's got a gold name. That's how you know it's super good. It's got all the stuff. Slime's more shapely cousin is known for its indiscriminate eating habits. I see. The Cuba 3A, 3B, and 3C. Mm-hmm. We also got some pomes, and we got some of those. Well, cool. Thank you, man. All right. Well, let's see what else you got. Do I want... Just oh. hands. You got some cocoons out there. This thing's worth 99 Holy shit. And it's got that color. That's how you know it's good. Yeah. So we definitely shouldn't invest in the Enchanted Forest because we were told that today is blah. So not the right fly larva. Mm-hmm. But uh, Bone Waste, uh, the Rot Fly Cocoon, and the Bubble Ooze and the Mushroom Fire? Yeah. If you're feeling bold enough. I mean, we might as well. You gotta spend it or end it. Narrator. It was definitely ended. That one gives you uh, good good cops. I, that, that cocoon kind of looks like a fucking spaceship. It also looks like a fucking fleshlight. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's what I first thought. <laughs> you know, you know, as long as they oh, buy... <laughs> Maybe we'll give that to somebody. Let's go. Yeah, Chase is like, are you interested in an own a hole? <laughs> it's all, no, I'm not especially, but I just don't have the plumbing for it, you know? Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye. Let's go see what you got, Muktuk. I'm sure your stuff will be more expensive than what we can afford. With, with your 57 Dolaros. There she is. Oh, yeah. What can you make? 
Okay, so you literally just make cauldrons. Okay. Uh, well, equipment, and then you have a shelf selection, like there, that you could do at the top. Oh my god, look at that. Mushroom. Which increase uh, potentially potion capacity of those shells. And also add, like, price increases. Additional 3% for potions, additional 3% for tonics. So we're, we're going to be selling other beverages than just potions. That's not what it says in the name. What? Why? That's potionomics, man. Seven ingredients. Six you ingredients. Diversify your portfolio. <laughs> so these are interesting because this one has like max magimins and this one has, you know, it has less max magimins. That's how they get you. He's like, you need to buy both because you never know what you're going to need, huh? And these aren't that expensive. They're only 100 gold each. He's really giving us a deal. We'll save up for those. Thank you, sir. I just wanted to check out what you had. These pieces won't go unsold for long. Are you sure? Because, well, I don't know of anyone in here that actually just, you know, throw stuff other than me. Look into my eyes. <laughs> I can't, sir. Their eyebrows are very, very impressive. That's the point. With your departure, the fire dim. Covering all bases. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. I hear you've been busy. Yep. Oh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Mint just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. Yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff. He's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my old business model. Trash comes in, trash gets out. Well, there it is. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. I got... Well, actually, I don't have the owner holes yet, but someday! Give it here. Give me the owner hole. I told you... No, I don't have it. Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, you're all excited to use it in a potion. Right? Yeah. So you throw it in your cauldron and poof! It's gone forever. Well, what if... What if she, like, Quinn, like, they, like, extend, like, their arms wide? What if they duplicate it? <laughs> Wait, there's an alternative? You say there's a better way? Well, tell me more, Billy Mary's. Easy. <laughs> Holds up the orb as if that's an explanation. <laughs> Hand it over to me instead. <laughs> Ponder this. My clairvoyance lets me hold on specific ingredients. Meaning, if you give me something good... Uh... Wait, you never mentioned any clairvoyance before this part, you know, portion in time, sir, madam. I'll be able to find more of it, and then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. Give me things so I can find more of them and sell them to you, capiche? You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future, eh? Yeah, okay, I, I can see how that would come in handy. Just give me freebies. I'll let you know if I decide to take you about it. There, see? You give me free stuff, and we all benefit. <laughs> You're cackling in front of me, you probably... I'm a grumpy witch. Mostly me, but still. Really selling you on this, aren't you? <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect you to operate in any other way other than just being a weirdo. Okay, I'm going back to your roof now. Bye. But hey, since we're, you're all chummy with all the heroes, does that mean that I'll be run into you at the guild hall? Save me some trips. Nah, despite the invaluable service I provide to the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. I didn't do that with the potion of fire I bought from you at all. No, but baka. You set two fires, and you get banned for life. Well... I use my clairvoyance to find the second potion. Consider yourself warned, I guess. 
Now, did you want to buy something or give me free stuff? I love free stuff. You may, re you may receive discounts on their services in exchange for relationship ups. Expand. Let's see what we have to give you. We could give you a cube. That's a pretty good thing. But we get guaranteed access. We only have one of these funguses. They're not really that great. Their face here, like, yes, don't you? I don't know. It's it's got yeah, the smell. One of the, one of the, one of the five senses. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and give you a mushroom. That's not immediately useful to me. Mushroom. And mushroom. they they hover. Feed Quinn one of each ingredient so they can expand their inventory and have new items for sale daily. All right. Well, well, all of the adventuring produce just slam straight into Quinn's orb. I kind of need to, like, I need to sell some of this stuff, Quinn, to actually get money. What is that between Quinn's legs? Is that, like, part, like, like a mirror? Is that, like, part of whatever Quinn's on? Like, <laughs> whatever Quinn's on. the roof? Like, <laughs> I think it's something hanging from the neck here. It looks like oh, a mirror. Right. It, I didn't realize it was attached to the collar. Like, I guess there is a chain there. It does look weird, though. It does look weird. Some sort of bizarre wish monocle. That That's just a portable thing for the orb to, to rest on. That, that's how the clairvoyance works, yes. See, I could give you a first-rate demonstration if you just give me all these free items. I have all the free items. I'm going to do it. Who will hand it over? What the fuck's up with your eyes? Windstock will be updated tomorrow. Didn't even use the fucking thing. Come back tomorrow and... I'll have the goods. You won't have the money, though, but I'll have the goods. Yeah, that, that was another mimic that just flew up there. We don't need any of this crap. No. Shop shop prices are uh, are fucked today, anyway. Can I interest you in a, a mandrake? Or maybe... What would you like? I'll give you one of these. Sylvia. Come on. Look, I can get that anywhere. Okay, well, I tried to be nice. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going home. Ah, solitude. Oh. And pizza's done. All right. Good trade to increase a potion's price by 5%. Bad trade to the opposite. Ah. Fantastic. All right. What do we put in here now? We got ooze. Let's see what the this will... We don't know what it makes. We do need to make a, a cure for poison. Blue. It takes a 2A, 1C, 1D. Okay. You can filter by those letters as well. For example, you have no D. <laughs> Much like your favorite sports team, no D. Yeah, there's no, no blue ingredients in there, so... Well, I guess we're not making those. Got your D right here. D -B. D -B. <laughs> All right, so they're still not buying those, so I guess we'll make some more fire. Some more fire, eh? Actually, that's not the fire. That's, uh, get that green shit out of there. Gotta get rid of these crappy ingredients anyway, right? Minor fire. Mm -hmm. Balance is perfect. It'll take two turns. So if you do run your shop, it'll be done. All right. Shop time. Finally. It feels like we've been doing everything no, it's else. Not, it's not. You, someone's got to put sh potions on the rack to sell. You're always right, Grimmie. No, no, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me I'm always right. <laughs> I almost slipped on an owl feather. I'm sorry about that. Let me get the brew. I hope this potion is up to my standards. Look at my upturned nose. What can you tell me about it? Up Bam, to your right standards. There. Look at look at that though. I'm not really impressed. All right, you got eleven thing balls, and you're just gonna shield. I'll give you a couple of these. Just make sure you're not gonna do anything else. You aren't. The shield, uh. Like, last roll turns, like, if you shielded yourself, would it still, like, retain? I I wouldn't expect it to, but I don't know. Plant the seed. There should, there should, you have an opener. 
I like how it does pulse there. That's a really nice feature. You're going to do some things. We'll play this. We'll go ahead. It's going to absorb most of my stuff. So here's a question. Are you ending the... Are you closing the deal this turn? I'm probably going to close the deal this turn. So then, yeah, you should scheme. Well, so I'm up in sympathy. Well, that's not really great. Although... Just, just throw that on there. We got we got some stuff. We'll go ahead and throw us in sympathy. Does the sympathy stack? We're going to learn... Well, he'll run out of patience. Yeah, you have turn. a number one down there in the bottom left corner. That's one turn of sympathy. So, presumably, you could have it be two turns of sympathy. And you are blocking. So. But he's out of patience. So it's, yeah, you're right. There's one patience. No refunds. And people say I'm hard to please. Hard Pleasington. All right, well, thanks for your business. Who's next? Good to see you. I mean it. This looks pretty great at the price. He's right. Ah! All right, well, I guess we'll do one of these. And we'll do one of these. And... I'm going to plant the seed again. Well, I suppose that's no necessary because you already have three turns of seed planting. You don't need six turns, right? Yeah, you're right. Enter. Free interest. It's cute, but a little rough, like my nephew's crown drawings. Wow, that's, that's real mean. Why would you even say anything like that? Goddamn. Pump it up. Okay, yeah. Well, that would close it out, so I want to play that after that. We might as well draw some cards and see what we're going to do, because I'm just going to end it this turn, probably. Okay. All right, we'll close it out fucking twice. Why not? I mean, that's just free patience. It's just free free real estate. Why would you not play that? Okay, and it'd be better to play that after close it out. So let's go ahead and do that. The sympathy has run out. We could play this too, though. You didn't play sympathy. Yeah, you can play it now. Cool. So reel them in. And then pump it up, pump it up, and close it out, dog. And look at that interest. You to the next category. God damn. I'm sort of feeling it. Yes, I can't wait to try this fire potion. <laughs> He's gonna set some fires at the guild. Have a nice day. It's all of them for now. We had the two customers coming, just like last time. Mm -hmm. Means you have a potion left on the rack. Man. Save those for now, just in case we want to send... Your potions are done brewing. Aye. Aye, aye. Let's bolt them up. Perfect brew. Oh, my it God. It actually transited to common. Wait, I can just do that now? Goddamn. If, 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 uh, if they tear up enough and get enough extra stars. Damn, I'm the, I am the coolest. Well... Now, now, that's not good enough to qualify for the competition because it's not mm -hmm. just common you need, but a couple stars, three stars. Yep. I'm thinking we make some health potions now because we're getting lower on those and we'll need them for tomorrow. Do we have mana potions? I can't remember. And there's no way for me to... You have two mana potions on the screen. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Fuck me. Yeah, there is a way. <laughs> right there. Okay, so we'll stock up on these. That's perfectly balanced. We have the mandrakes in there. They're hard to see, but they're in there. So, brew two. So, if you run the shop again, mm -hmm. uh, they'll get done. All right. We have three time segments left, so I think we just go and open shop again. Let's arrange these. I mean, they said they have a variety, but that one's just kind of poop. I think we should just use that. There we go. Those are so fancy. The fanciest. Only the best for my customers. But for my customers. No oh, hey. I've had a great day so far. Gotta keep my momentum going. So did you ruin the things that you got back from... Well, actually, I didn't send you on adventure. Never mind. You did, actually. I, I, I bet this would come in handy, right? Now, I did send you to the bone place, didn't I? Yep. All right. Well, let's open with this, of course. And you're just going to waste time. Sounds better than I thought. This is one of my finest potions. It teared up. Still sounds better than I thought. All right. Hey, go 
hope I'm not missing a raid right now. Oh, I know you're anxious to get back to question. All right, I guess I'll set you up. And then we'll use your own card against you. Do I end it? I mean, I use that card. You're going to do something, though. Reduces interest applied. You. I'm just going to close it out. Yeah, particularly since in turn would be minus two. Sounds kind of amazing, actually. I'm about to set the world off of our guys. I see you. Bye. Okay, have a nice day. Evening. Next in line. Amazing. You're on your feet all day. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. No, that's just a little bit of radiation. All right. Well, we got 11 turns. You're going to go ahead and just be impatient. We'll go ahead and do that. What was that noise? Anyway. I had to flicker the Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to change our server. There was uh, crimes happening. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understand that. We'll go ahead and in turn. You can go ahead and lose your patience. Gotta get home before my turtles wreck the place. Bah, I see you in a hurry. Those turtles, man. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. What else you got for me? Plant the seed. We're not going to be doing that. Pump it up yeah. into a real man? I think so. Oh, yeah. And then that's the end of your patience. So we'll go ahead and just close the deal. You're the best. God damn it. Have a nice day. I like the visual display of like knowing like when a customer is about to piece the fuck out. It gives you a sense that like Sylvia actually does have a sense for like how far she can push like a sale. Mm -hmm. And we've made a fair amount of money today. Come on up. I hope the heroes make use of this place. They do. I hope we can come to one of them their agreements. Uh, sure. Ta -da! Oh, he slapped it on there. He's just going to guard. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. going to annoy you. Stress you out every time you play a card. I fucking hate that. It's rude. I, I note that you did lose some stress. Like, you had 2% stress. Mm -hmm. Like, and now you're back to zero. So there is some natural, like, stress decay over the course of the time. Let's go ahead and just get this over in that one turn. Because I really hate annoyed. I, I don't want to get stressed. That sounds like a bad deal. It looked like he's going to be your last customer of the day. I guess so. Maybe I just want to play a card. Maybe we'll just get some free stuff from that, huh? Okay, that tiered you up there. And then we'll pump it up and do one of these. And then you're going to shield up. I like what I'm hearing. That's good. This is one of my fine potions. Made it today. All right, end turn. And then just close the deal now that he ascends up to highly interested. Haglin's an art. You're the dude who sets the canvas on fire to make a statement. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. And I think I'll just go ahead and close the deal. Right. Things are looking up. She got Quinn's card there, very much like sets in mind like guarding and just like biding your time to see if you can get some extra value. Mm hmm. Well, that's all of them for now. Until next time. All right. How you doing in here? You, you brewing potions? Huh? You gonna bottle them potions? Scoop them up. Oh. Sends up to common. All right, we'll accept the charges. And what do we want to put in there now? We got some more of these pommies. We haven't used a pommy yet. We'd be making our mana potions with this. Let's see, and that needs the yellow, yeah? Are we out of yellow? I think we're out of yellow. There's no way I can sort by yellow, huh? Okay, well, we do not have yellow. You would, just you would sort by C. I'm not... I, I want the colors. <laughs> they make it easier for lethal. He's color-minded. Well, we don't really have anything for that, but let's make something. I was going to say, those damn mana potions take forever, so let's go ahead and put some more of those on. Actually, that was what I was trying to make. God damn it, Lethal. Or was that fire? 
I don't even know. These are fire potions, I, I guess. That's what you were trying to make. Look at your recipe book, yes. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be the blue and green, or the the yellow and green. You, 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 could, you could still craft them with uh, the palm. They just will not be perfectly balanced, and so you will not get extra stars. Seems like a waste of the palm, considering how much they were they were to buy. I'm just gonna make more of these. Well, good news, you'll be able to buy some stuff from Quinn tomorrow. <laughs> it's true. Go ahead and do that for now. Those those health potions are always good for sending out mint on her little adventures, and maybe she'll have some tomorrow. Hope you'll tune in to find out if she does. Uh... Rough coming out. <laughs> 